The Titanic has been lying on the Atlantic seabed since 1912. The much heralded luxury liner collided with an iceberg on its maiden voyage and sank. Now Yadiga Assisi has immortalized what was once the world's largest passenger ship in a huge panorama. It's a great subject. The Titanic was a genuine symbol of the euphoria about modern things back then, but a tragedy too. It's a bizarre type of beauty. It happened over a century ago, and we haven't forgotten the accident, but it invites other thoughts too, that could send us off thinking we're really just one small part of the universe. Yadiga Assisi had to content himself with photographs and maps when he did his research, because no one is allowed to dive down to the Titanic anymore. The wreck is lying in complete darkness on the seabed, so the artist needed to lighten things up a bit. I'd like to retain a certain element of reality, but artistic license gives me the right to do things that reality doesn't offer. Things like an illuminated seabed, for example. They could dive down to the wreck a hundred times, but they'd never see anything like this. Yadiga Assisi worked on the Titanic panorama for three years. Born in Vienna, Assisi now lives in Berlin. He was once a professor of art, but he left his job to dedicate himself exclusively to his enormous paintings, and now he works for himself. That's just great to be able to live in a situation where you decide what you want to do. Now I only do things that genuinely move me. Assisi's first enormous panorama was finished in 2003. It was Mount Everest, showing the world's highest mountain from base camp. The second project, Amazonia, came in 2009. Like all of Yadiga Assisi's panoramas, this one is made of printed lengths of material. This work allows observers to slip into the world of the South American rainforest. One of his best known works was The Wall. Finished in 2012, it shows the divided Berlin of the 1980s. This panoramic painting is still on display today in the center of the German capital, not far from the former border crossing at Checkpoint Charlie. Last year, Yadiga Assisi began work on the panorama Luther 1517. It is 15 by 75 meters in size and will be shown for the next five years in Luther's hometown of Wittenberg. I think each panorama has an energy of its own. After it's been shown, it doesn't belong to me anymore either. It goes its own way. That's quite fantastic. Then when it's all over and you've got some distance, you can barely remember making it yourself. His latest work is being shown in the panometer in Leipzig. The former gasometer has the space to fit the Titanic painting, which is more than 100 meters wide and 32 meters high. A documentary exhibition about the British ocean liner accompanies the painting. As for the artist, he's already thinking about his next project. One of the next projects will be about me getting really small, so small that I can sit on a flower and watch a bee pollinating it. And I'll do that in a panorama. Just imagine a bee that's 15 to 20 meters tall. Visitors to the Leipzig show can already start exploring the details of Titanic. Passengers' belongings are even strewn across the sea floor. With this work, Yadiga Assisi wants people to recognize that the wrecked ship symbolizes the failure of humans to prevail over nature. <laughs>